Hey, have you heard about the benefits of pet ownership? Yes, I have. Pets can improve mental health and overall well-being. Definitely. Did you know that owning a pet can lower blood pressure and reduce stress levels? Yes, and pets can also provide companionship and reduce feelings of loneliness and depression. That's amazing. I just got a new puppy, and he's brought so much joy into my life. That's great to hear. Pets can be a great source of happiness and love. I read that owning a pet can also increase physical activity levels and improve heart health. Yes, pets require regular exercise, which can benefit both the pet and the owner. Wow, I had no idea. What about the financial costs of owning a pet? Owning a pet can be expensive, but there are ways to manage costs, such as adopting from a shelter or buying pet food in bulk. That's good to know. I'm so happy that I decided to get a pet. He's brought so much joy and love into my life. That's wonderful. Pets can provide so much happiness and love to their owners. It's no wonder they're often called man's best friend. Hey, it's been a while since we caught up. How have you been? I've been good, just busy as usual. How about you? Same here, just trying to stay on top of things. I was thinking we should plan a girls' night out soon. What do you think? That's a great idea. Did you know that maintaining social connections and friendships has been linked to better mental health and overall well-being? Really? I had no idea. That's fascinating. Can you tell me more? Studies have shown that people with strong social connections are less likely to experience depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues. They also tend to have better physical health and live longer. Wow, I had no idea. That's really important. I'm definitely going to make more of an effort to stay connected with my friends. It's definitely worth it. Plus, spending time with friends can be a great way to reduce stress and boost your mood. It's like a natural form of therapy. That's so true. I always feel so much better after a good catch-up session with my friends. It's amazing how much of an impact social connections can have on our well-being. Reckless behavior can have severe consequences on ourselves and those around us. Yes, it's essential to be mindful of our actions and the impact they can have. Did you know that reckless behavior can lead to injuries and even death? Yes, and it's not just physical harm. It can also lead to legal and financial consequences. That's true. It's important to think about the potential consequences before engaging in risky behavior. Exactly. We should also consider how our actions may affect those around us, like friends and family. That's a good point. Reckless behavior can have a ripple effect on our loved ones. And it's not just about physical harm. It can also affect our relationships and future opportunities. Wow, I never thought about it that way. It's important to be mindful of our actions and the impact they can have. Yes, being mindful and responsible can help us avoid unnecessary harm and negative consequences. That's a great takeaway. We should always think before we act and consider the potential consequences. Exactly. It's about being responsible and mindful of our actions. Well, if it isn't little Miss Mina. What do you want, Nora? Oh, nothing much. We just thought we'd have a little fun with you, that's all. Yeah, we've got a special surprise for you today, Mina. No, please, not again. Ah, oh, come on, Mina. Hey, leave her alone. 
well, if it isn't little Miss Goody Two Shoes. Come to save your pathetic friend, have you? Leave Mina alone, Nora. She hasn't done anything to you. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, Maria. Mina's very existence is enough to annoy us. Yeah, and we're just giving her what she deserves. Right, Mina? I said, leave her alone. Or what, Maria? What are you going to do? I'll... I'll tell the principal. Oh, please, Maria, like the principal's going to do anything. We're the teacher's pets, remember? Yeah, and you're just a couple of goody two-shoes who no one cares about. So why don't you run along and leave us to have our fun? Mom. I'm home. Welcome home, Mina. How was your day at school? Oh. Uh, oh. It was good, Mom. Hey, I've been wanting to talk to you about something. Of course, dear. What is it? Well, you know how Dad's been talking about wanting to take us all on a big family trip. I was thinking, what do you think about going to Japan? Japan? Really? Oh, Mina, that would be wonderful. Your father and I have been wanting to take the family back to visit for years. I know. And I thought, you know, with me graduating high school next year, it could be like a big celebratory trip for the whole family. That's such a thoughtful idea, sweetheart. I think your father would be thrilled. Did you have any specific plans in mind? I can help plan it, Mom. I've been looking stuff up online, and I found all these amazing places we could go. Like the Imperial Palace, and Sensoji Temple, and Shibuya Crossing, and... Slow down, sweetie. You've really been doing your research, haven't you? Aha. Uh -huh. I want us to have the best trip ever. Yeah, Mom. Can we please go to Japan? Please? Well, I'll certainly talk to your father about it tonight. But I have to say, you both seem awfully excited about this. I am, I am. It would be the best thing ever, Mom, I promise. All right, all right. I'll see what we can do. But you two need to promise me you'll help with the planning, okay? We, we promise. promise. All right, my little adventurers. Why don't you two go put your backpacks away, and then come back and tell me more about what you want to do in Japan? Mom, can I look out the window again? Dear. The plane needs to get up in the air first. I can't wait to see Japan. How much longer until we get there? Not for a while yet, son. International flights take quite a long time. But I want to see it now. What if we miss something? Don't worry, Mina. We'll have plenty of time to see everything once we land. For now, why don't you and Jason look through the in-flight magazine? There might be some interesting articles about Japan. Okay. Can I at least turn on the TV? I want to watch a movie. Sure, go ahead. Just keep the volume down, all right? I'm glad they're so excited. This is going to be such a special trip for all of us. Yeah, me too. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and watch next videos. I know you are gonna love it.